Hello and welcome to Man vs. Machine. You have chosen Sniper for your Man vs. Machine command. Now find an the Sniper... We, we, uh, the Sniper is very dependent upon others for most things. He excels at certain parts. But I will show you what parts he excels at as we play throughout this game. Now any loadout suggestions I'm going to show you in the next few seconds here are not you have to pick these loadouts. They are the only way to be superior in this mode. But I'm showing you helpful suggestions on what is good and what isn't. This loadout I have here is probably the closest to what I consider a good loadout. This uh, frying pan is more or less just a reskin of the default kukri. I recommend, I recommend either the default weapons, which are basically these three here, or the bushwhacker, turning all your mini crits into full on crits. Just if you do, you choose this weapon. Just be wary of the fire damage you will take. But the other ones, I don't recommend so much because this decreases the damage you can do for certain waves, and this decreases your damage overall. For your secondary, I highly recommend Jurati. Just over everything else, I recommend Jurati. If you're worried about being assaulted midway through a wave. You can go for the SMG, but you're not going to be as helpful to your teammates in this case. You can also do the clearance carbine. They will do less damage, but hey, it's your personal choice on which SMG you want to use if you feel the need to use SMG. Do not use any of the shields. These do not help your team in any way whatsoever. And for sniper rifle, use I, I suggest the default sniper rifle, which is which is basically what I'm using, or, or which, well, it's just this, or the Machina. The Machina, if you're a little more comfortable with, with, scoping, hedge, with scoping shots. And kind of a second hand, I can kind of recommend the Huntsman. Um, only because, and I only say I can kind of recommend that because Everybody I don't believe, it, I don't believe it gets been, uh, the what upgrade I'm going to show you, but fight. it will help your team with increased fire speed. These do not use, these do not help your team whatsoever, and if you miss a headshot with most of these, if you miss a headshot with these two, you don't help, and you can only draw one person at a time with this, so I'm using base, so basically that's a quick explanation of my loadout. So, so first thing you want to get when you play this game, when you play a sniper, is go, go, the explosive go. headshot. What it'll do is if you headshot a target, all targets surrounding it will get hit with a shock wave, which will, bas will inflict basically a bleed on surrounding targets. So, uh, that's how Sniper works in a nutshell. Now you're going to see other classes doing various things in this video, but we're not here to cover the, what those classes are. We're here to cover what this class does. Y'all ready? Um, now I'm going to explain right here. If there's any cuts in between, if there's any cuts in between um, when I stop ta when I um, with when we start the ready up process and when the wave starts, it's because we're waiting for somebody to re ready up. This time around, I'm going to stick with you guys. I'm also going to explain that these icons on top here is basically what you should expect to see in the coming wave. So. You, we know expect pyros and scouts and lots of scouts at that. Now we have engineer heavy, heavy that is missing the shots. Lag. That's the thing on these valve servers. You will see peri uh, some segments of lag brought on by valve servers not being able to handle certain things. Right, there we go. Now as you'll see as I play here, I am a horrible shot. Oh jeez. Now, with this mode, you're going to want to grab as much money as you physically can. Because this determines what upgrades you'll be able to use as time goes along. Like this... Oh, our doctor died. Doctor, doctor, I got a 
bad case loving you. Now when the bomb gets up to this point in the map, close to the, where the drop site is, you're going to notice that a lot of robots will go alter directions. Dang it, I can't get a headshot on the scout. Nor can I get a headshot in general. Uh, looks like we missed a lot of money. I'm going to move up to see if I can see that money. Now what I'm about to do here is stupid. Yep, it is. Don't, 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 don't. Surprise scout! Anyway, that was a dumb move. Don't do what I just did. Let's just take a look. Okay, all the money is disintegrated. So, money will not stay on the field. It will eventually disappear over time. The scouts don't like me, so they're going to shoot at me. Even though I have barely done any damage. Engineers, look out for that sentry buster. Now, sentry busters you can help with as a sniper, but not quite yet. Not until we can get a certain upgrade. Yeah, so, and then you get a rank in how much money you collect, so. Now, this is actually my second take of doing the sniper round, because last time I played, I was with a bunch of very incompetent people and through their own incompetency just wanted to leave immediately after we lost one wave. Now for general upgrades, you want explosive headshot primarily. If you happen to have money left over, go for faster charge on your shot. Actually, I'm going to spend this round to do the faster charge and to get this upgrade for Jurati. A must-have if you're going to use Jurati. Because what it will do is it will basically make it so that your Jurati will slow targets when you douse them. Very helpful for certain robots and to help your engineers with sentry busters. Let's go, mate. Thanks for standing still, wanker. So, I guess this will be a quick jump till when the wave starts. Everybody ready? We're under attack. Protect All right. This so the wave is going to be starting up pretty quick here. Five, four. Now, this way we have scout support, so random intervals of scouts, soldiers, and doormen. Now, when I say random intervals of scouts, it means the scouts will constantly be coming at us, no matter how many are, no matter how many we kill. It's when we defeat the soldiers when the wave will actually stop. Dang it! And like I said, I am a horrible shot, so. Shooting these shots is actually going to be very... I thought I hit that one. Very hard for me. So let's bust out our Jurati! And there's the explosive head shot and work. Now, if we can get at this thing. I missed. I missed with an AoE. Now, for how to deal. For how to deal with Sentry Busters, I'm going to say wait until my video on how to deal with Sentries, or on Engineer. I'm going to die right here probably. Yep. Oh no, we have a... Okay, we're not going to fail. We do have a Engineer base with a Sentry Gun taking care of most of these, uh, most of our foes. Now I'm going to do something very stupid here again. Nope, I'm not going for that money. So here is the slowing action Jurati in action. Kind of. There we go, got the soldier. There we go, I somehow got that headshot. 
Now, usually scout support will only come at you with their bats strong, so... I'm gonna get up there and get that money quick. There we go. Oh, it's gone. I can kind of stand back here and just pick them up from the backfield. Stop them from deploying the bomb. Thanks, Doc. So yeah, the little things you're hearing are basically the headshot in action. I can't hit stuff. This is why. I Decided to play sniper first of everything. I can hit him with the funnel, kind of. There's gonna be a soldier coming up on top here because I think he went this way. I got it! But we're not done yet. Get to an upgrade station and prepare for the next wave. Make sure you get the money, guys. So yes, yeah, skinny money, top priority. Ah uh, yes, the wave with the tank. Now, a lot of icons that they're not normal classes will appear in red up there, so... The tank is, effect, unfortunately, leaves Sniper kind of useless, because he can't headshot them and Jirai does not affect a tank. Who is not ready? There we go, perfect. Now, I'm, now upgrading your explosive headshot as well as your... <clears throat> what do I want to say? Upgrading your explosive headshot as well as upgrading your reload time, or charge time, effectively means that your headshots will be able to charge you quicker, doing more damage, so... Quicker recharge translates to more damage. As simple as that. So, I guess another quick cut here while we get uh, on to the next part of this. Alright, so there we go. Now, with Sniper, you're not going to be using your sniper rifle at all, or your Jurati, because you are, because unfortunately you are useless. You are going to be melee primarily, which is why I said Kufi or base sniper weapon is probably your best option. Now it looks like with, these, with this crit activated, we're going to get this tanked up pretty fast. Oh, you must have had extended crit, uh, uber charge time. In this way, you're pretty much more useful as a... You're more useful as a, a spy destroyer. Y'all ready? Greed is good. Have a bonus. Now, that's the thing. When you get money, um, when you get all the money in a wave, you get a 100 credit bonus. So, pick up all money. <clears throat> now... Something to explain there. When you get rid of the main robots of the wave, basically whatever's on the left side of this divide of the divider up top there, then all the support will stop coming and then the wave will end instantly. Keep this in mind for certain for when you play the game. So then we're gonna go ahead and get some explosive headshot. I got the upgrade for that already. I think that'll be about it. I am ready! So now our explosive headshot is maxed out. Go, go, go! Now for Sniper, if you do have a canteen on equipping your Sniper, uh, similar to I do here, um, 
canteens basically hold one of one of four charges, five if you're an engineer. But for a sniper, there's not really an effective canteen charge I can recommend to you. Not even not even teleport to home is good for you. In fact, teleport to home is a bad charge in, in general because you just teleport to spawn. I guess I can kind of recommend ammo Ready. refill if you really think Everybody you're gonna run out of ammo. But you're you, but as a sniper, you're usually pretty close to ammo refill stations. <clears throat> and one thing I should have mentioned before is ammo is um, money is shared amongst all your party members. I always shoot the bomb. I never... Dang it. I'm trying to shoot the heavies because this is the wave we're all starting selling. Case and point. Incoming spies. Attention engineers. We've got a sentry buster. No, I'm dodging, uh, dodging to get money. So unfortunately, it didn't quite work out in my favor. Luckily, the heavy is up there, and I don't think he has as many though. Dang it! Why well, won't hit him? Fine, I'll just hit these ones back here. Now you're going to want to destroy robots as quickly as possible that are carrying the bomb. Because if they carry the bomb too far, they will end up, uh, they'll get a buff from carrying the bomb. Let me go up here and get this money. Get out of there. Ah, dang it. I think we have spies around too, which is the bad part. Only one. Hey. Oh jeez, we lost. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut ahead to when we the next wave starts, so I'll see you in a minute, guys. Actually two things I want to talk about here before uh, the wave starts is these blue arrows here. These will indicate the path of the Everybody robots. Ready. Robots will always follow this path, no matter what, until, well, depending upon how far the bomb gets. If the bomb gets up towards where the bomb gets dropped off, then the robots kind of go wherever they feel like. Um, and also, I want to mention that when it comes to upgrades and money, when you spend upgrades for a class and you get to further waves, don't switch classes. Unless you fail a wave, you will not get that those that money uh, give uh, credited back to you at the start of the next wave. The money is lost. Up, the money is lost on your class that you chose, and will stay with the class you gave upgrades to. So at this point, even if I wanted to go a different class, I shouldn't because I don't have any upgrades. God save the queen. I'm gonna let the heavy take care of most of those. I'm waiting for the heavy... There they are. I can't even hit a slowly heavy. Anyway, I'm waiting for more heavy. Bye, heavy. And spy sniper. Only one. You have destroyed all 
No, I'm gonna die down here because of the scout. Maybe not. If they deploy the bomb, all is lost. I am definitely gonna die now. There it goes. So, yeah. <laughs> Now, would I recommend you always take out spies first? Yes. There we go. Spy sniper, spy pyro. Wow. Our engineers not know how to remove sappers, apparently. Now head to an upgrade station. I'll be here back. Here they come. All right. So at the start of another wave, we are. Three, two, one. And now this guy's probably gonna just try and tackle me for being useless when he's the one used. That guy was our engineer, by the way. He switched classes because he couldn't know how to remove a sapper. Yes, I am being very, very elitist at the moment. With your fat hands, maybe I can shoot the other heavies. Oh, there are spies. I'm gonna get out of there <laughs> before I die. Stop them from Anyway, keeping an eye on heavy. Oh, I'm down. Well, at least I got rid of a good chunk of those heavies. Good thing too, because that's pretty much all I can really hit is heavies. Oh, and spy waves. Spy waves. Great. What am I to hear? Death to all things that I care about. And random war, and I'm going to take out the street plane. Surprised I made that clutch headshot right there. <laughs> Buster. You have destroyed all the fight. There we go. Get all my max reload speed up. Where is it? Now if you can hit a sentry buster, it'll slow it down to the point of with your karate, it'll slow it down to the point where an engineer can destroy it before it gets close to his sentry. There we go, we got it. Now get to an upgrade station. And now to get the money. Which that's all we get for money, so that's unfortunate. 
Ah uh, yes, now I get to talk about the special he the special waves. More or less, we have a super heavy coming. Super heavies. <laughs> super heavies basically are bigger and they have more a lot more health in the thousands for health. So you do need to cooperate to get rid of them. Now I don't have money to get more uh, more anything else really, anything at all. So I'm going to just actually pool my money for this round. Y'all ready? Now with automatic, this will make this kind of hard to take care of that super heavy, especially when I gotta take pot shots at him. Because once I shoot him once, he'll know I'm there and start trying to gun me down. Anyway, so. Uh, unless the soldier rises up pretty quick, it's going to be a quick cut to start. I am ready. The so never mind the cut. <laughs> All right. Now there's still scout support, so the heavy will ha the heavy will have some help there. And that our heavy's going to there. He is. That's him right there. That's the super heavy. Let's see now, even if I shoot now, Uber, so I can't do any damage to him. Let me charge up. I'm gonna just keep on laying headshots at him. Crap, okay, I'm down. It was taking the money I'm down, but we almost got the, the giant heavy down. Yay, we got rid of the super heavy. Now I'm going to look around for money because it's going to be scattered everywhere. Like right here. Basically keep looking for money until this screen disappears, which it's going to disappear in a second here. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually the sniper, it's really really easy to keep uh, to keep yourself in the know-how for everything. Now once you've gotten past a certain point, once you've gotten yourself this, these two items I would recommend doing additional damage. You could also do reload speed or ammo capacity or, or projectile penetration. I'm gonna go for straight damage because I'm basing all my stuff off of Having explosive headshot deal damage to the little bots. Oh no, this is gonna be fun. We we have super soldiers coming. There's there are a few types of super soldiers. These ones have full on crits at all times. They still have to reload like normal soldiers. So after full rockets, they'll do a full reload. But other than that, these are normal soldiers. Sorry, I'm bringing something on the side, but basically they are full crits. Do not attempt to divvy away. Do not attempt to stay out in their line of fire too long. Now, and scout and spy support. Fantastic. Now, I talked about it a little bit before, I believe, but basically we need to get rid of the super soldiers in order to end the wave. End the wave. So. We're under attack. Protect the facility. Five, Excuse me. So, with these heavies, with these uh, super soldiers coming out, I'm going to be focusing on them. My teammates, I hope, will focus on them as well. But then again, I'm in a, I'm in a pickup group, or pub, or pug for short. So, anything I do is kind of erased by the fact that, oh God, why am I in a public group? Now this super soldier is going to drop down on top of our heavy and decimate him. There he goes. Now I'm looking for spies. Yeah, this is a spy. Uh, there's three spies, one with a demo man. Now, unfortunately, with these spies having come into play, this is not going to help us win, I don't believe. Only 
Thank God we have this pyro here. Now I'm gonna stand right here and shoot at the super soldier. Because he is our prime objective at this point. Get the sentry. So I'm gonna get up here to wait for that last super soldier. There he is. Got him. Ooh. That got a bit clutch there. So there you go. That's basically the effectiveness of the sniper in a nutshell right there. Oos, lag. Oh my gosh, so many scouts. I'm gonna be banking on headshot. I'm gonna be banking on any kind of shots. Um, now seeing as I've got some money left over here, I will go ahead and drop that in the faster reload speed. It does that. It does help. I am ready to fight robots. Go, go, go. So, this is the way full scouts and sniper support. I'm going to be the one stopping snipers, effectively. So, that's pretty much how the way it's going to play out. Um, I'll see you in a bit when we start. Alright, and here's the start of the wave, guys. It was kind of a shortcut, but... Oh, jeez. Scout, wait, I really hope our engineer is set up. He is set up. Good. So we're going to be up here handling the scouts while our engineer is st stopping them as a base primarily. And I am... Holy crap. There we go. Okay, so I can't shoot those snipers. There's a sniper up into the right, watch yourselves. There we go. Oh wow, crash out of that. So hopefully our engineer will keep on that. I'm just going to focus on snipers now whenever they come out. Alright, so the snipers are out. Oh god. No, 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 stop them, stop them. Stop them, stop them. Oh god, our engineer is not rebuilding this, is terrible. Do not let the bomb hit No! 
the ball. No, they're not. Dang it, I'm down. But I think we got the wave under the shell, under wraps. Oh, I actually got that. That's cool. So then we gotta walk around, just make sure we get the money wherever it might, might be hiding. We actually did very good that wave. Oh, and this next wave's gonna be a doozy. Um, I'm gonna explain it all as we as I look for money and upgrade. What we've got coming down the hatch is a super heavy, a super soldier with cr that is the crit version. There is a rapid fire version, a tank, 40 scouts, and the medics. I'm going to be focusing on the medics as soon as I see them. They're, and the medics will be attached to the super soldier and super heavy. I hope I explained that quick enough for you to understand. Now I'm actually going to take a reload speed. And there's something else I can really use, so I'm going to take an attack speed on my thing. Now this is the last wave, so money is not is not all important in this wave. Because it's the last time you're going to use it, and you and unless you go back to base, you cannot re-upgrade. Re oh, this is the clutch wave that you have to be ready for. Alright. Do your best to hit the medics, guys. Let's have a go at it. Now, like I said before, I'm going to be trying to get the medics. Fortunately, they did not let me get the medics and all the medics. There. I think I got the medic. God dang it, the scout got me. Super Heavy's coming down on the left side, it's almost dead. So yeah, there's that. There's a tank coming, which I'm gonna... For crap's sake, I can't... Damn. It's done. Dang it. We were actually really close to being done too. As you can see up top there. The last of the robots are here. Five, four, three, two. Alright, and our waves are ready to start over again. So hopefully these guys will be a little more intelligent and able to shoot the medics. Those guys right there. These medics are actually kind of special, so there are special types of medics. These are medics that have their uber charge ready to go. Dang it, medic got his stuff off still. God's sake, I can't... I can't get around these guys. And I'm down, so... Well, we got the Super Heavy, it looks like. Yep, we got the Giant Heavy, Super Heavy. I call it... Well, I interchange the terms. And you walked right into that Soldier's Rock. It's fantastic. Alert. 
Yeah, we got him. And the super heavy had the bomb, so... Oh, this, yeah, the super soldier. Now we need to go take care of that. This. So... Actually, I'm gonna go back to base and restock on my uh, swing speed. Hopefully it will help in the long run. And after we get rid of this guy, it's over. Okay, we got it. This is over. We got it. And end of wave. So yeah, that's basically it. Now we can see your overall rank on at the end of each at the end of each stage. You can see your overall rank. I think we got a B. Yep, I call that. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for joining me on this. Your shotgun's broken. Thanks for joining me on on this how to play of sniper of man versus machine. I hope you've learned a lot from it. Those those snipers that like playing the game. And I'm going to cover something, uh, next time I'm going to cover something else on hopefully a different map. So I will see you then.